Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'll be doing a quick appreciation post since for the past week, I just turned 24. It wasn't a big celebration but still, I enjoyed every bit of it since I got to spend this year with my friends and most importantly, my family. But before anything else, I would like to share with you guys the lesson that I gathered upon this turning of age, which is that we should always appreciate the little things in life. I know, I know, it's a cliche, but it's true. I always think that I have to do something big and extra every day, which in the end, if I didn't get to do it, I either will feel disappointed with myself or questions the things that I've been doing with my life. Sometimes it's a good thing, but doing it way too often is not going to be healthy. So always make sure to, once in a while, lean back, take a breath, and appreciate what you have done so far. You've done good, so smile and just continue living life. Anyways, hopefully that was helpful for some of you guys. That is just something that I live by for this, that I've been living by for this past few weeks and I have to tell you I am in a much happier place and I him more at ease to what is to come so yeah with that said let's get back to my journal with me shall we okay um i printed out some photos of the memories that i want to treasure forever it those are the ones that are printed at a bond paper that you've seen earlier at first, I thought of making a photo collage, but I wanted to be, I wanted it to be something that I could look back and read and appreciate. <laughs> so what I did first was to gather some old paper bags or cutouts that I've save over the past journal with me and i just choose the ones that would go well with the theme for the month and the spread that i'm working on since i'll be working on spreads of the days that i celebrated my birthday with i thought of making a cover page for it first i found this is this floral <laughs> it's not floral but I forgot what it's called but yeah i found this construction paper along with my other stationaries a cutout from a magazine and a few washi tapes that i just got a few days back so if you haven't seen that video i'll make sure to link it down below I also added a happy 24th handwriting at the side just to be more specific with the following spreads to come. The stickers are also from the stationery haul that I did last time, so make sure to check that out if you want to get a hold of these items. I first started with August 2, which was the surprise celebration I had with my best friends. I've already spoke of this during my previous videos, but basically what we did was we had a few drinks, chatted for a while, played some games, and you know. The typical things you do in a sleepover. I appreciate my friends and I love them. I love having them in my life. We pull each other up and I could always count on them. I love them to my bones and I couldn't wish for anyone better. Thank you. 
for my next page, I dedicated it for my birthday sa Lubong. I was supposed to watch the BTS Bring the Soul movie by myself, but it wasn't showing at the mall near me, so instead, me and two of my friends watched Katrin Bernardo's new movie with Alden Richard, which was Hello, Love, Goodbye. It was actually a good movie. I laughed so much, even though it was said to be an emotional movie. They worked well together and I really recommend others to watch it as well. The movie ended at around 12 a.m. which was right on time. This was the first goofy that we took and instead of going home, Chell spent the night at our place. I appreciate her for staying but since I have work the next day, the party needed to come to an end and I fell asleep after a few YouTube videos that we watched. Happy birthday! <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> For this spread, all I did was use the remaining construction paper that I've had previously, tore out an old paper bag from previous groceries, and of course, a great tip to add in your journals are tickets or movie posters that you wanted to remember for that day. I also I'll also be using a black unipin point one for the letter that I wrote for that day. That was actually when I realized the lesson that I mentioned earlier because every year for my birthday I promise myself that I should do something different, something that will benefit tomorrow. But instead I did something very mundane that I felt really bad about myself and started to feel a little down on my exact birthday. I hated that feeling so I promised myself that I will appreciate the little things that I've been doing day by day and, at, and that I'm sure I'll be okay in the other days to come. So relax and be patient with yourself. You'll get there and you'll be become more happier when you get to that stage because you didn't put too much pressure on yourself. And now finally on my exact birthday, I still went to work because, you know, adulting. Um, my boss got me this salted caramel cake. Um, I forgot where it was. Where did they bought it? But let me check. Yeah, I didn't write it down. But yeah, it was it was this salted caramel cake that is <laughs> now apparently my favorite cake. It has this solid caramel things on top, and it was super delicious. I appreciate the time that they given me, even if they had such a busy, a busy, <laughs> a busy schedule. So I'm really really thankful for them and happy at the workplace that I am in.
right after work of course the party never stops <laughs> i went or met up with my family to eat some birthday steaks at snackaroo and as per my request we played a bunch of board games at ludo and for some reason i was feeling so lucky i won almost all the games that we played <laughs> I can't wait. It's my birthday. Say happy birthday. I'm to say happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy By the way, I placed everything in a two-sleeve page since a lot of things happened that day and I was just really thankful for everything and it, for some reason, it all fitted in this page so hopefully you won't get confused on the timeline of what I'm, of how I am telling the story. <laughs> The next day, Sammy came by to surprise me along with the team at work. She bought a cake and everything but it was kind of a fail since I saw their secret group chat since it popped open in my other friend's computer which is where I was working on. But nevertheless, she is one of my favorite human beings. I am really happy to see her that day. <laughs> Plastic bag. <laughs> and finally, for my real celebration, which was at my grandparents' house, since I wanted to be with Yasha and the rest of the family. My mom organized this little get-together with the family, my tita who owns Remini Siama Cake, brought me my ultimate favorite cake which was a cheesecake. It was so delicious that it just disappeared into teen air. <laughs> Anyways, I am super super happy and appreciative for everyone that has wished me a happy happy birthday and I'm just really thankful for everyone and for you guys as well for being here and subscribing to my channel and listening to my nonsense all the time. So thank you, thank you and I hope to see you guys again or talk to you guys again on my next video. Enjoy this little clip of Yasha being cute as hell. <laughs> thank you guys for watching and as a birthday gift, maybe you guys could subscribe down below for me. <laughs> Just kidding. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye!